everyone. Hi there. I'm Mr. Jim and welcome to Story Station brought to you by Words Alive. Today we're going to read Little Mist by Angela McAllister and Sarah Fox Davies. Those are collaborators on this book, the team that worked together. And we want to thank our friends at Chronicle Books for allowing us to read it. So I love this book. We're going to have a great time learning about an animal we might not have heard of before called a snow leopard. Yes. But first, I want to make sure we're ready to read, right? By putting on our reading eyes. So we're watching the book and taking our C's, opening up our ears so that we're listening and indeed taking this little pretend switch and turning it on so you can answer me back when I ask you a question. How's that sound? Good? All right. Well, let's sing our song that we always sing about the books so that we can become really familiar with them. And it goes a little bit like this. The title's on the front. The title's on the front. Hi-ho, Biblio. The title's on the front. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi-ho, Biblio. The author writes the words. The illustrator draws. The illustrator draws. Hi-ho, Biblio. The illustrator draws. And the spine binds the book. The spine binds the book. Hi ho, a biblio. The spine binds the book. And now it's time to read. And now it's time to read. Hi ho, a biblio. Now it's time to read. Are you ready? Me too. So let's begin with Little Mist. And again, we see the name of our author and then followed by our illustrator. So the author writes the words as we know, and her name is Angela McAllister. Sarah Fox Davies is the illustrator. And if we look at the cover of the book, I'll show it to you right here, we see an animal, maybe you haven't seen it before, it's called a snow leopard. It lives in some of the highest mountains in the world. And they're often called the ghost of the mountains because they're nearly, they're white and they're very hard to see. And this is the kind of area where they live in. So we can see high, tall mountains, snow covered, where it's very, very cold. And here she is, here he is, Little Mist. Little Mist was born in a mountain cave, curled up in his mother's warmth, he knew only her soft fur and sweet milk. One day, his mother opened her eyes and stretched her paws. It is time, little mist, she said. Follow me. She rose up, sniffed the air, and padded out of the den. So we know a den, a mountain den. That's a home for a, a snow leopard, sort of like a cave. Little Mist followed out of the dim hush and into bright, singing blue and crisp, sparkling white. So here we see the blue, blue, blue of the sky and the bright, bright white of the snow-covered mountains. This is the world, said his mother. This is your world. Little Mist rolled and tumbled in the glistening snow. He slipped and slid. He pounced and shook his frosty fur. <laughs> I like my world. He said, there is more, said Little Miss Mother. The world stretches far and wide. More, said Little Mist. 
His mother rolled over and licked his eager face. Come, little one. Come and see. See, they're playing. Little Mist saw the world stretching far and wide. So we see this picture of what they're looking at, right? Oops. Hear the river's voice, said his mother. Smell the pine trees. See the eagles soar. Soon you'll chase butterflies in the cloud forest and jump mountain streams. I like jumping, said Little Mist. His mother smiled. There's more. She let him down, step by step, to the water's edge. So here we see that they're by a stream or a pond. Little Mist gazed at his reflection. She's like a mirror. The world looks so big he said but i'm only small his mother gently cuffed his nose it is true just now you are a little heartbeat on the mountain she said a tiny smudge in the snow but one day you will be bigger than the red panda that sleeps in the old oak tree, we see the red panda. Stronger than the gray wolf leaping from his rocky ledge. Faster than the moon bear watching catfish at the waterfall. Sleeker than the shaggy yak that roams across the grassland. Bolder than the musk deer that slips through the pine forest. You will be more secret than the blue sheep that grazes in the flower-filled meadow. And as free as the wild wind that stirs the glassy lake and dusts the high peak with snow. One day, you will be a fine snow leopard, great hunter, king of the mountain. But until then, you are my own, my little cub. Well, soon the setting sun began to dance on the mountaintop. Little Mist's mother led him back to the den. She wrapped her soft, strong paws around him. Time to sleep, she purred. But Little Mist was new and full of wonder. He didn't want to sleep. He tiptoed to the mouth of the cave. There he sat, wild-eyed beneath the stars, looking out at his world. Little Mist couldn't wait to begin. There's the world that he looked out on. And we have a little coda at the end of the book, boys and girls which is written on the back and it says, let the journey begin. Now, if you want to learn more about snow leopards, you might want to ask your mom and dad to look that up for you. They're beautiful animals that are endangered. So there's not that many. We want to do all we can in the world to keep them safe. Uh, again, I want to thank you for joining us at Words Alive Story Station. Our friends at Chronicle Books, our publisher, for allowing us to read. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here at Words Alive Story Station. Bye now.